Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. All right, welcome. All right. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Are you guys ready to continue talking about the past? Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Hay alguna pregunta o alguna eh, duda de lo que ya llevamos hasta este momento? Acordémonos, ya vamos en la unidad 3. Ya estamos prácticamente a la mitad de esta semana, ¿verdad? Ya solo nos va a quedar la clase de mañana y del viernes, ¿verdad? Con la unidad 3. Y luego, pues, ya la unidad final, yes. Bueno, eh, ¿ha habido alguna situación en la, en la plataforma? ¿Estamos todo bien? Ok. Good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Juan. Okay, then I will take the attendance. So please, everybody, turn your cameras on and uh, stay present. Okay, there we are. Today is the 17th. Okay, today is August the 17th and we're going to start calling the roll. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present uh, teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Instant teacher. Ok. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Right. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Ok. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present, teacher. Okay. It's okay, Oscar. No problem. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Es así o mal, Jose Abel, ¿verdad? Okay. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Ah, he's at work. Okay. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Okay. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Leonel García Magaña. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Yes, I remember Oscar. No problem. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Eric Edenilson. 
Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Ernesto Majano Valle. Good evening, teacher. Me, Hello, Fanny. good evening, Fanny. Good evening, welcome. Okay, I will take you in at this moment. Okay, I did it. It's done. Okay, then we are going to start the class tonight um, by doing the feedback. Let's remember that in In the last class, we were talking about an experience of someone who went to a store, right? Hablamos de la experiencia de alguien que fue a una tienda, ¿verdad? Una situación bien sencilla, ¿ok? A ver, ¿alguien me puede contar alguna situación? Por ejemplo, que haya ido al supermercado o cuénteme si ha ido a la tienda a comprar, aunque sea una barra de margarina, no importa, a ver. ¿Cómo me la contarían en inglés? A ver. ¿Alguien quiere participar voluntariamente? Last Sunday I went to the supermarket and I saw some offers and I, how can I say, aproveché. I took advantage took advantage and i took advantage advantage uh-huh mm -hmm. good Advant evening wilber uh-huh you took and, advantage and i bought some pumpers <laughs> oh great so that's a good offer oh nice what's the regular price that you pay for them Regular price is our $22, oh. but in this case, there but last are, Sunday, uh huh. But in this case, there are two for two per one. Okay, people, they were, price, they were. Mm -hmm. Okay, they were two per one. Oh, nice. So that's a really good special. That's really a yes. special. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, did you go alone or did you go with family? I went with my mother. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good. ¿Alguien más me quiere contar su historia de algún momento en que compró algo? Bueno o algo malo, we don't know, right? A ver. A voluntad. I try. Please, Henry, go ahead. Yesterday, I went shopping at the supermarket. I need, uh, I need to buy uh, the sodorante. Deodorant. 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 Shampoo. Uh, soap. All right. And I I walk in the in the in the what did they say? Pasillos. Aisle. Aisle. I walk in the aisles. Uh, I I buy goodies. I, I bought. I bought. Goodies. Oh, uh, goodies. Mm -hmm. I buy. A cheese, I buy milk, okay. I past buy tense, fruits. Past tense, bought, right? Bought. But mm -hmm. I forget buy this deodorant. Oh, that's funny. It usually happens. <laughs> a ver quién le hace la segunda en eso. A ver quién se le olvida lo que va a comprar. Compra de todo. <laughs> It did a, oh my God! I wow. only spe specified the 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 other end. Uh, okay. I need. I need. Yeah, you need it. I I forget. I forget. Oh my God! Finally, I forget. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, you use some lemon, right? <laughs> Ajá, le tocó usar limoncito, lemon. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Henry. I, uh, did you get angry when you got home? Yes, I, 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 was, I was back to buy. Oh, so you had to go back. Oh my God, wow, interesting, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Sorry for you, Henry. Uh, double run. Ok. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien más me quiere contar lo que le pasó en la última compra? ¿A dónde fueron a comprar? Sí, esta lectura son correctas. Está aquí. Lo encontré. Solo espero que no sea uh -huh. tarde. Ya estoy aquí. Ya estoy aquí. A voluntad. Yo sé que Wilber quiere, ¿verdad? Uh, I don't have a story, teacher. Okay, but ever, alguna vez que usted va a comprar? Uh, uh, usually, really, usually, uh, uh, that's similar, like a uh, Gary. Oh. Uh, I buy the shopping at supermarket and I make, I make always a list. Oh, okay. But I, but I always forgot something. You always forget something. Uh, I okay. Always forget something. I don't know why, but <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah it happens. Yeah. Uh, yes. It I think heaven's things. <laughs> Cosas del cielo, eh? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, look. Um, <clears throat> Today, um, we are going to start talking about situations where we want to confirm some information, okay? Today, we are going to see or practice something about the negative form in the past tense, but also we are going to add some questions to confirm the information. Those questions are called direct questions. And the direct questions requires a yes and a no answer, okay? So uh, tonight we, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I click. Uh, All right, now, here we are. Then we are going to start by doing some feedback, written feedback in the manual. So let's go to our manual and let's practice this, uh, this conversation we have on page 31, on page 31 to practice the negative form in the past. Remember that in the past we talk um, with, or we use the verbs um, expressing any kind of action, but also we express the past of be, and that's an independent form. So we want to uh, practice those forms. Wasn't, weren't, didn't. In this case, we're gonna try only wasn't and didn't, but we are gonna try. So uh, please go to page 31 and your manuals. All right, here we are. La voy a leer una vez. I will read it once. Please pay attention to it. And also, if you have any question, you may ask after I finish, okay? So Luz and Eva are talking. Can you tell me more about your experience? That wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me.
Any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Yes, I forget the meaning of apology. Apologies is disculpas. Ah, okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me. Could you read slower, please? Slower? Okay. Can, uh, toda, toda la conversación? Yes. All right, yes. I'll do it, okay. Just one sec. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. All right. Thank you, teacher. Good. Sorry, sorry. Se abrió solito, espérenme, espérenme. No, yo di ahí, pero por accidente. Es como la costumbre, ¿verdad? Sorry. Okay, is there any other question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Okay, then. Uh, can someone tell me what is going on here in this conversation? Luz and Eva. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luz and Eva were talking, right? Maybe they were in a call. Right, on a phone call. Mm -hmm. Luz seems to be the customer representative, right? And she is um, doing like a survey after purchase, right? This is a survey after purchase. Está chequeando ella como una manera de encuestar al cliente después de la compra, ¿verdad? So, if we are talking about something that happened in the past, we have things that really happened and things that didn't happen, okay? Didn't take place in the situation. Uh, so guys, did you ever forget instructions? ¿Alguna vez ustedes se olvidaron de las instrucciones o, o se les olvidó alguna cosa del proceso que tenían que seguir? Always. Okay, <laughs> yay. Always. But for example, in a customer service department or a call center, for example, or maybe a customer service area where people go and talk to uh, the, the agent, usually they have like a protocol, like a guide, right? They have like guidelines how to behave or how to assist the customer. And one of those guidelines is to give your name, right? This is the first thing. And here it didn't happen, right? The agent didn't say his name, apparently, right? Apparently. Aparentemente el agente que atendió a Eva no dijo su nombre. Eso es uno de las instrucciones que debe seguir un agente de servicio al cliente, ¿verdad? Lo primero, presentarse, ¿verdad? Right? Introduce himself and say your name and that you are able or you are um, uh, willing to help, 
or to assist people. So let's do this conversation, okay? Let's role play. Vamos a ver entonces, ya que entendemos qué es lo que pasó, okay? Que alguien olvidó seguir el protocolo, ¿verdad? Y están encuestando a la, eh, a, a la clienta y le preguntan también acerca del producto, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, le vamos a pedir a... Permítanme que por aquí estoy tratando de verlos a todos. Le vamos a pedir a Carlos Ernesto y le vamos a pedir a Eric... Permítanme. Hernández, ¿verdad? Eric Hernández. Para que eh, hagan el roleplay ahorita aquí. ¿Sí? Vamos a ver. You may start, guys. Ok. I start. Yes, you may start. Carlos Ernesto está por ahí, porque no va a ser que Carlos Ernesto está también ahorita de oyente manejando. Eh, yo sí estoy acá, listo, teacher. Ok, Eric. Entonces, Eric y Pedro. Vamos a no, ver. Car Carlos, yo estoy listo, Carlos. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo pensé que era Eric el que me estaba contestando. Ok, bien, bien, bien. Démosle pues, Carlos. Carlos y Eric. Eric comienza. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't uh, so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Well, I apologize for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Okay, nice. Good job. Now we want to listen to Hazel. Are you available there? Hazel? Hola. Okay, Hazel and Karen. Vamos a ver. Um, bueno, ¿cómo está? Can you tell me more about your experience? It was so nice. <clears throat> because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologia got for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Rumil, and he explained everything to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, listen to Blanca and Fanny. Can okay. you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a information a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about uh, our product? Uh, could, you, could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was to consider it. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Thank you very much. Okay, this is very interesting because Romeo, nosotros decimos 
el nombre tal como lo conocemos, ¿verdad? He was, his name was Romeo. Uh, in English, it, it's going to so sound like Romeo, right? Something like that, Romeo. Yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, then. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, tratemos de pronunciar todos algunas, algunos pequeños detalles, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. Mm -hmm. wasn't so nice. Este es, aquí es como que usted retrocede. It, it wasn't, right? It wasn't so nice. Mm -hmm. Como que retrocede esta T, ¿sí? It wasn't so nice. Yes, it wasn't so nice. Because the agent didn't give me, I get, sería, because the agent didn't give me, didn't, didn't give me, okay? Mm -hmm. Didn't give me, didn't give me. Didn't give me. Mm -hmm. Ahora digámoslo rápido. Didn't give me, didn't give me. Did, did, did get me. Ajá. Vale, ahora, ¿saben qué? Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Sí, no lo miremos, ¿verdad? No lo miremos. Eh, una pequeña, solo escuchen. Didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't give me. Didn't give me. Didn't give me. Correct. Lento lo diríamos didn't, pero ya hablando normal, en una velocidad normal es didn't. Ok, cuando nosotros decimos así, didn't, jalamos para atrás el sonido, right? Didn't, didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't give me. A ver, hoy sí veámoslo para que terminemos esta parte. Y lo mismo acá, miren. Uh, si ustedes eh, miran este even acá, ¿qué significará este even que miran por aquí? Even. ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Incluso. Mm, incluso. Sí. Uh -huh. Cabal. Puede ser incluso. Pero en este caso que es negativo, es casi que ni siquiera. Ok. Ajá. Como, como así. He didn't even. Ni siquiera. Right. Uh, <clears throat> ni siquiera. Más acertado. Ok. Bien. Y. Uh, la siguiente. Didn't say. A ver todos. Didn't say. Didn't say. Didn't say. Didn't say. Didn't say. Didn't say. Okay. La otra es the actually. 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 Ya cuando uno lo quiere enfatizar y decirle actually, o sea, esto es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero así normal, actually. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Vaya, en esta les quiero explicar algo. My apologies. El verbo es to apologize. Ok. To apologize. Apology sería el nombre. Disculpas, right? Voy a escribir acá. Apologize. Apologize. En este sería Apollo G. Apollo G. Ok. Apology. Apologize. Ahora, este obviamente sí lo voy a conjugar como I apologize. Ahí es como me disculpo. Ok. I apologize es decir me disculpo. My apologies es mis disculpas. Ok. My apologies. En plural, ¿verdad? Uh, Apologies. My apologies. Así no es eh, muy personal decir que se está disculpando, ¿verdad? Aunque usted está presentando su disculpa. ¿okay? My apologies. Entonces, este sería I apologize. 
Y este es my apologies. A ver todos, I apologize. I apologize. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. Okay. My apologies. Entonces, cuando usted se quiere disculpar con alguien, sí, discul eh, las disculpas del caso, dicen en el call center, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, las disculpas del caso. Ok, es my apologies, right? Mm -hmm. También se dice apologies for that, ok? Así como está acá, ¿verdad? Solo sin my también. Apologies for, for that. that, ok? For that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my apologies for that. My apologies for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, solo apologies for that. Mm -hmm. Apologies for that. Okay. Bien. Eso quería explicarles porque a veces tendemos a querer decir aquí apologize y no. Aquí es apologies. Okay. En esta sí es apologize. Okay. Bien. Vamos a ver, uh, la siguiente parte que tenemos acá. ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No. No questions. Ok, bye. Vamos a ir a... Ah, sí, como no, estaba esta palabra, miren. Receipt. Receipt. La P es silent. Ok. La P aquí en esta es silent. Entonces se dice receipt, como que solo estuviera la T. ¿Ok? Receipt. Receipt. Uh -huh. Receipt. Exactly. Bien, vamos entonces a bajar. Y ya leímos la conversación varias veces, ya la escuchamos. So we want to write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen in the conversation. So let's read what really happens and what didn't happen. Okay? Vamos a ver, ¿cuál sería la primera actividad que sí sucedió en la conversación? Vamos para arriba de regreso para poder verlo. Uh -huh. Aquí vamos a hacer. Luz tried to help Eva. Okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And Luz was kind with Eva. Okay. And Eva called another agent. Hmm. A ver, todos, ¿qué podemos escribir acá? Romeo was considerate and explained and explained her. Okay. Very good. A ver, y en las cosas que no pasaron. The last yeah, agent 
didn't give her a confirmation number. Okay. What else? He didn't give a uh, recipe. He okay, a receipt. Receipt. Mm -hmm. He didn't say his name. Ok, very good. También estas cosas que están con wasn't, también eran o estaban en el momento que sucedió la situación, ¿verdad? Ahorita podríamos decir, <coughs> por ejemplo, it wasn't <coughs> a nice experience, right? Podríamos decir también la última. Um, it wasn't easy to use the product. There you are. Even though if we are talking about Eva, so we can say a uh, simple sentence. Remember that a simple sentence gives the um, option to express in a simple way what really happened because we use a subject, a verb, and a complement. Y nos ayuda a ordenar la idea. Pensar en esas tres cosas, subject, verb, and complement, para que podamos expresarnos, ¿verdad? Así como lo hacemos en español, igual en inglés, right? Okay, bien. Esto sería did and didn't de la actividad number two. Okay, I will stop sharing here. Y tenemos que transformar estas oraciones. We have to transform them, for, I'm sorry, transform them into negative. So let's try to do this. Ahí tenemos que ir agregándole a nuestra imaginación. Así que empecemos a abrir ahí nuestra mente para hacer estas oraciones, ¿sí? Just transforming. All right. Bien, uh, vamos a solicitarle a Rosa. Rosa, por favor, usted va a ser la moderadora en este momento y yo me voy a poner en silencio y ustedes lo van a hacer. Yo voy a escribir lo que ustedes me digan, ¿ok? Pero ustedes van a deducir ahí, ¿ok? Let's start now. I'm back. Negativas serían. 
um, sentences using negative and simple past. Bueno, compañeros, ahí está. I was satisfied with my laptop. I was satisfied with my laptop. Yes. I wasn't. I wasn't negative. I wasn't. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I wasn't. Marta didn't write it, a letter to her boss. With the we weren't, we weren't so happy with the full we service. Pedro and me, Pedro and me. Mm. didn't drive to my to the company. The principal didn't send many emails. La última. The program wasn't too slow. Okay, very good job. Very good job. En esta número cuatro, me suena más a Pedro and I. Okay, Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. Mm -hmm. Me suena más. All right. Here we finish this thing. Y voy a introducir la clase del día de hoy. Okay. All right. Well, today we're in, in our video conference number 13 and the topic and the, in the context will be always uh, customer service, right? But the topic is how to use simple past 
Yes, no questions. Those are direct questions. Let's remember we have two different kind of questions and one other more that it is farther questions, right? So let's um, think what's the objective of this class? It's that you will be able to write three yes, no questions using the simple past correctly individually in order to ask uh, those questions to your classmates, okay? Well, we had this reading and speaking practice. It was about, it was a conversation more than anything, right? And we're going to see what's uh, simple past direct questions. Then we have some written exercises and a discussion in our breakout room. All right. A ver, uh, vamos a, a pensar eh, qué preguntas normalmente nosotros le hacemos a alguien como para confirmar información que ya sabemos, pero que solo necesitamos confirmarla. Es decir, que me digan sí o no. ¿Qué pregunta podría hacerle usted a un cliente, por ejemplo, en su compañía? Digamos, a ver, ¿alguien me da algún ejemplo? Así en español. Está de acuerdo con los términos y condiciones. Ok, good. O está uh -huh. satisfecho con el servicio. Trajo la documentación. Con... A ver, es una pregunta. Trae la, la documentación completa. Ok. Mm -hmm. That's only to confirm, right? Because you know that they have to bring this uh, documentation. For example, Blanca knows that uh, this person is agreeing with something because previously you got an agreement. So after that, you have to confirm that they agree, right? You have to confirm that they bring all the documents. And the answer will be yes, right? And Spanish, we say only si, sí, or we say only no. In English, we need the auxiliary verbs to confirm this answer. And the short answer is, uh, for example, in the simple present, we say, yes, I do, no, I don't, right? Uh, yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Es una respuesta corta. In English, uh, I'm sorry, in the past tense, we use these other um, short answers with the auxiliary deed. If it is an affirmative answer, yes, I did. No, I didn't if it is a negative uh, thing. Okay, vamos entonces, siempre en nuestro manual, nos vamos a centrar ahí porque ahí tenemos eh, dos experiencias, ¿sí? Dos experiencias de dos personas two uh, different persons here. We have Mr. Mendoza and we have Mr. Torres. And we are on page 33. Let's go to page 33. Ok, vamos a leer la de Mrs. Mendoza, ¿sí? 
Mrs. Mendoza says, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He sold it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of that report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Let's read it again. Leamos la otra vez. ¿Alguien quiere leerla? Hi. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I have a problem. Okay. I have a problem with the payroll system, but a technician come to help me with it. He sold it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged for me. Charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report. But I didn't I didn't understand it besides all that. I forgot to mention that he can very late. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Jose Abe. Anyone anyone else wants to read it? I okay, um, Blanca, go ahead. I had a problem with the payroll system. But a technician came to help to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides uh, that, I forgot to mention that he came came very late. Okay, good. Good. We're going to read Mr. Torres' experience. Okay, Mr. Torres. Oops, what happened here? Sorry, guys. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to my, I'm sorry, to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started to, the engine and everything was perfect, okay? Vamos a leerlo nuevamente. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then... I started the engine and everything was perfect. All right, who wants to read Mr. Torres experience? Okay, okay. Uh, first Magdiel and then Wilbur, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was and uh, really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me detail about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine, and everything was perfect. Excellent, Magdiel. Go ahead, Wilbur. I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car, my car's problem. Two, he gave me details about the incident and gave me a report of it. Then I start the engine and everything was perfect. Thank you very much, Wilbur. 
Uh, uh, tengo una pregunta Tell con me. respecto al significado The mechanic was really kind. Was really kind. Eh, fue muy amable. Fue realmente amable. Entonces, aparte de, de es un verbo y como un adjetivo o algo así. También. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Kind, porque el, el, la palabra kind es la que me tiene un poco confundido. Porque kind veces... es amabilidad o amable. Kindly, amablemente, right? Kind. And this case is an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have to um, see these experiences as if they were bad or they were good. Which of those was a bad experience and which of those uh, was a uh, good experience. Which one of those these experiences? Um, yeah. Was bad and which one was good? Mr. Mendoza's bad experience. experience. Okay. And Mr. Torres, good experience. Okay. Good, good. Bien, nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Okay. Y ustedes van a completar la actividad que viene aquí abajo. You have to read the information again to answer the questions. And you have to compare with a partner. Bueno, ustedes lo van a hacer juntos en el breakout room. Entonces, no tienen mucho que comparar más que discutirlo, ¿sí? Tenemos por acá, did Mr. Mendoza had a problem, uh, Mrs. Mendoza, I'm sorry, had a problem with the method of payment? Y la número dos, did Mr. Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Nos vamos a ir a eso. Ok, la idea es que lo leamos. Esa es la mayor práctica que vamos a hacer ahorita. To read. Vamos a leer y a contestar esas dos preguntas. Así que léanlo con tranquilidad, compréndanlo, disfruten diciendo las palabras, ok. Exageren la pronunciación, desen gusto. Okay, reading. Fíjense que solo faltan dos minutos para las nueve. Voy a tomar la asistencia antes que nos vayamos. Okay. Okay. Antes de irnos, por favor, pongamos por ahí cameras on. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. That's All right. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Okay. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas, thank you for sending the text. Eh, Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Oscar Leonel García Magaña. Present. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. No, Rafael, tonight. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. 
All right. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Oh, good. Eh, Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Ernesto Majano Valle. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, then let's go to the breakout room to do this reading. Okay, let's have this reading. Eric, please join. Hernan. Hola. Hello, we are joining to the breakout rooms. Um, me quedé esperando, me quiero ver. Me direccioné, pero regresé nuevamente con usted. Oh, ok. Ahorita lo voy a asignar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay. Karen, are you alone here? Hi. <laughs> I see you're alone here. Uh, es que en el camino se me han quedado cuatro que no se pudieron conectar. Entonces estoy ubicándolos ahorita. Le, le creo que acá, ahorita entró aquí. Permítame. Um, parece que tenemos dos acá. Alguien se me duplicó. Así como a veces ha pasado. Que nos conectamos con dos dispositivos. Sí, pero parece que no, no es eso. La vez pasada Magdiel también y solo estaba con uno. A ver, permítame porque no encuentro acá cuál es el problema. Ok. Oh, ya ve, se nos fue por aquí y tenemos que estamos completos. Oh, ya sé, es esto. Bien, ahí viene Hazel. Ok. Esperemos que se pueda unir. Y tengo otra persona acá. La voy a pasar aquí con usted a la a otra persona que acaba de entrar. Vaya. Ok. Ahí estamos.
Oscar. Oscar Leonel es el que acaba de entrar. Okay. Ahí está. Thanks, teacher. Okay, thank you too. Very late. Okay, bye, bye, Mr. I had a problem with the cards again, again. So, engine. And so I called for assistance. The mechanic was was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was. Quick to fix my cards. Problem. Uh, to he gave he gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report for it. Then I start uh, the engine. Engine and everything was perfect. But this uh, read information again to answer the questions compared with the problem. Did Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? El señor Mendoza si tiene un problema con su método de pago. Eso es que le ponemos acá. Yes, he had a yes, he had a problem. Yes, he had a problem. But a technical can to solve. Favorite pen. Solo voy a buscar una palabra que no sé qué es. Payrolls me sale nómina de sueldo. Ajá. Es como la planilla. Ok. Entonces, sí tiene un problema o sea, técnico. Ajá. Dice que tiene un problema con el sistema de pago de planilla, dice, pero el técnico vi eh, que vino a ayudarla. Eh, él sí solventó el problema, pero no le dijo nada, dice. He even charged to me for a piece he broke. Eh, he, he even. Es he even a charge. Como que me cambió una pieza que estaba rota, dice. Quebrada. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, he gave me a copy of the report. He gave me. Una Necesito copia una reporte. copia del reporte ah. porque no pero, entiendo. Ajá. No. But I didn't understand it. Pero no entendí nada. I didn't understand it. Pero no lo entendí. Vale, entonces, si tiene un problema con la... No, con el ah, sistema aquí está, de... Espérate, dice, with a, with a method of payment. Y esto es payroll. Entonces, no, la señora Ajá, Mendoza no tiene no un problema hay... con el método de pago. Ah, por... No, Ajá. he don't. Okay. No, she don't. He had, he had a problem with the payroll system. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Okay, to give a short answer, to give a short answer, let's remember we use the same auxiliary verb, okay? What is the auxiliary verb that you're using in the question? A ver, usamos el mismo verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Para contestar. Have. 
No. ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar? El que hace la pregunta. Did. Did. Ah, did. Ajá. Entonces la respuesta, si ¿sí es negativa. No. No. She. She. Did. Did. Ok. Si es positiva, sería yes, she did. Ok. She. A problem. With. Payroll system. Uh, payroll system. Is that correct? Remember, uh, it's the past tense, so she had a problem, right? Because now she doesn't ah. have the problem anymore. Uh -huh. Continue, guys. You're doing a good job. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo me dije? Me trabó el internet un rato. ¿Cómo ah, es? Ahí está la es, es que esa parte, como no, no le entiendo muy bien, es donde yo me quedo trabado también. Y no sé lo que quiere decir. Ajá. Una pieza, no sé si Como que le quebró de... una pieza, pero... Es, es cambi, como charge, como cargar cambi, no, es, no es cambiar <risa> esa es la no, le cobró le cobró ah. <risa> estoy confundiendo yeah. la palabra uh -huh. <risa> ah, change es verdad yes. change charge uh -huh. ah, eh, sí, charge, charge es charge. Ca cargar o cobrar Uh -huh. Entonces me, me cargó por la pieza quebrada. Exacto. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 oh pues uh -huh. sí, ya. <risa> uh -huh. Es que no entendíamos esa, esa, esa palabra. Por la pieza que él quebró, dice. Uh -huh. Besides, uh -huh. eh, el significado de besides, dicho. Besides es además. además. Also, o sea, que es por eso que es, por es también. También. Ah. Ahí tenía la, tengo esa siempre confusión. Oso siempre he pensado que dice además. Oh, ok. También, también, eh, depende del contexto. Uh -huh. Depende del contexto. Ok. Ok. Thank you, right. También hay una, hay una parte en la otra conversación que a mí me cuesta la pronunciación. Ahí donde dice, casi al final, donde dice... Eh, He gave me the details about the incident, incident, and he gave me a report of it. No sé cómo se ahí. Oh, ¿no? Para decir junto, report of it. Okay. Report of it. Report of it. Of it. Report of it. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Siempre of. Eh, no pronunciamos la F, la hacemos como of, ¿verdad? Y cuando hay una T antes, uh, así como esa, report of it, of it, of it. Oh, ok. Gracias. Right. Okay. Okay. Se gusta, empieza otra vez. Quick. Ok, en was quick. Quick es la pronunciación. En he was quick to fix my car. Yes, quick. Ah, uh, okay. Pero quick es cuidadoso. No, kind of fast. Ah, eh, rápido. Oh, fue rápido. Uh -huh. Ah, he was. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Bueno, sigamos. Ok, si gusta, empiece. Bueno. I had a problem with the paper. He came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't. But he didn't say anything. Even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. 
besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me uh, for a pie he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Even. La palabra se pronuncia even. 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 Okay. Sí. Ahí sí, uh, perdón, ahí sí significa como usted me decía, en aquella significaba ni siquiera, pero en este, even, es incluso me cobró. Ah, ah sí, ah, ok, mm -hmm. ok, thank you. All right. I have a problem with, I had a problem with the first engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. Technician came very late. Teacher, do you have the question? Yes, I do. Just give me one thing. Here they are. Just two questions. Okay, I'm going to take a screen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, nice. Okay, the question are the first one is Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? I think that no, she didn't. She ha he had a problem with the payroll system. Yes, but the payroll system is a different to system payment. Ah, yes. He had a problem with the method of payment because uh -huh, the payroll system Yes, it's a method of payment. And did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Mm, I think that uh, no, he called to the mechanic. So the short the answers goes first. Remember that when we say yes or no, we have to add the uh, auxiliary verb. For example, if you say mm -hmm. yes, she did, or yeah. no, uh, she For did. Short answer. Mm -hmm. Short Only answers. That is, uh... Yeah, short answers. But okay. at the same time, it's it's good that you write a, a sentence as a as an answer, right? As mostly in those that are negative, then you write as, or give a sentence as an answer to explain, right? Or to confirm also, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, y nosotros matándonos pensando. Uh -huh. <laughs> bueno, qué bueno. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Okay, good. Uh -huh. good, good. That's figuring it out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to another group. Continue doing your job here, okay? Okay. Bye. Hello, Fanny. Hello, teacher. ¿En qué es sala Fanny? estaba? ¿En qué sala? La ocho. Oh, ok. Ahorita la mandé. Sorry, teacher. Se me descargó el celular y no me fijé. Ok. No problem. But I, I um, directed over there. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. There you go. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jose Abel. Thank Hello, you. Pedro. Yeah, I see that you finished the questions here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I finished <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tengo una sola pregunta aprovechando. Tell ¿Cómo me. es la correcta pronunciación de Gab? O Gabe. Gabe. Ah. Mm -hmm. Present, Gabe. give. Past tense, gave. And the past okay. participle given. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, porque me trae bastante más. Gave. Sí, it's gave. Gave me. Gave. Mm -hmm. okay. Gave me. Mm -hmm. All right. Then let's go to the main room. Okay. Let's go okay. to the main room. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, class, let's answer these two questions. Let's read number one. Uh, can you please read it, Andrea? And the answer, can you give the answer, Henry? Uh, two questions, teacher. No, only number one. Okay. No, she didn't. Okay, she... Usted, usted hace la pregunta y Henry le contesta. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Okay. Aquí es Mrs. Right? Mrs. No, she didn't. He had a problem with a payroll system. All right. Very good. So it was. No. She didn't. A ver, eso contestaron ustedes, right? No, she didn't. Uh, she, aquí sería un had punto. A she had a problem with a payroll system. Ok, pero el sistema de planilla también es un sistema de pago. Ok, porque asigna, ¿verdad? Los pagos. Entonces, sí es un método de, de pago. It is a method of payment also. So, we want to uh, define this thing. ¿Alguien tiene alguna opinión acerca de esto? A ver. 
¿Alguien tiene alguna opinión acerca de esta respuesta? Um, por, bueno, leerla. Nosotros llevamos a la conclusión que yes, yes, she did, did it. Yes, she. Ajá, la respuesta yes, afirmativa es. Yes, 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 she did. Did, did. She did. Ok, uh -huh. yes, she did. She had a problem. She had a problem with the favor system. Ok. With the, in this, this case, with the payroll system. Ok. There you are. Gramaticalmente, gramaticalmente está correcta la respuesta de Andrea y de Henry. Ok. Gramaticalmente estamos bien, pero con lo que, de acuerdo al, al eh, ¿cómo se llama? De acuerdo a la lectura que hemos hecho, ok. Eh, podemos decir que sí, realmente hubo un problema con el sistema de pago de planillas, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver el siguiente grupo que tenemos por acá. Tenemos a Blanca y Raúl. Okay. Uh, Blanca ask the question and Raúl answer the question. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. He Hacemos... called the mechanic. Okay. He, I'm sorry. He called the mechanic. Ok, good. ¿Alguien tiene alguna opinión en esta respuesta? That's good. It's ok. Yes. I guess. I agree. All right. Y gramaticalmente también está correcta. Ahora, acordémonos siempre que cuando vamos a contestar, ¿verdad? Uh, Vamos a contestar con el verbo en pasado, ¿sí? En este caso, aquí hay un error de dedo, ¿sí? This, did Mrs. Mendoza has. Have, I'm sorry. Aquí tiene que ser have. Estoy yo chifurleando aquí. Es have, ¿sí? Ahí hay un error que sería have. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta, ya el auxiliar ya me convirtió en pasado el verbo. No puedo poner el verbo en pasado como está acá. Ese fue un error de imprenta. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí tiene que ir el verbo en forma base. ¿Sí? Have. Y cuando respondemos, si lo respondemos en pasado, con la forma del verbo en pasado. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, acá. Did Mr. Torres call? Forma base, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque ya el did ya me hizo el pasado. Aquí no voy a poner cold. Aquí no voy a poner calls tampoco. Voy a poner el verbo en forma base. Y cuando yo contesto, contesto con la forma del pasado. Miren. Esta es la manera correcta. Entonces, vamos a practicar estas dos eh, preguntas. ¿Sí? Eh, permítanme, aquí tengo... El otro grupo. A ver, el grupo de... Vaya, le vamos a pedir a Hazel y a Oscar la número uno, pregunta y respuesta, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. ¿Did Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a metal payment? And yes, she did. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. Okay, very good. Oscar hizo una short answer y no dio ninguna mayor explicación, ¿verdad? Cuando eso es correcto, eso es correcto. Hay short answers. 
pero hay también de confirmación, de confirmación es como repetir eh, lo que ya se sabe, ¿ok? Eso es una confirmación y usualmente esto lo usan, por ejemplo, cuando hacemos una encuesta, a veces en esta otra parte ya la persona da alguna otra luz, ¿verdad? Acerca de lo que sucede. Entonces, siempre es bueno esta otra parte, ¿verdad? Esta parte de confirmación con una oración completa. Ok, vamos a ver, ahora le vamos a pedir que nos dé pregunta y respuesta a Rosa y Wilber. I will do okay. the, ask the question. Uh, did, did Miss Mendoza had, have a problem with the method of payment? Yes, she did. She, she had a problem with the payroll system. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. He called the mechanic. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you very much. Vamos a ver otro grupo, otro grupo que va a decir la pregunta y la respuesta. Vamos a escuchar entonces a Fanny y a Luis. Did Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Yes, he did. Uh, Mr. Mendoza had problems with a uh, tip payroll and called it a uh, technical to help. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Again, again, Luis. Um, yes, uh, she, she did. En este caso es, yes, she did. She, yes, she did. Uh, ok. Uh -huh. eh, Miss Mendoza had a problem with the payroll and call The payroll it. system. Ok, the, the payroll, payroll system. system. Uh -huh. okay. The payroll system and call it a technic, technic, A technician. Technician to help. Great, great. Now I understand it. Thank you very much. What about number two? Fanny, again, please. Number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friends for help? No, he did. Uh, Mr. Torres didn't call his, uh, his friend, but even a mechanic to repair, uh, repair the car. Excellent, Luis, excellent. Very, very good. Okay. ¿Alguien más quisiera practicarlo? ¿Otro grupo? Vamos a ver, aquí tengo a Juan y a Magdiel, pero no sé si Juan está available. Hello, teacher. Hello, Magdiel. Juan, Juan no estaba disponible, es que yo lo estuve practicando. Oh, ok. Entonces, eh, si quiere me las dice así como usted las hizo. Ok. Um, did Mrs. Mendoza have a, have a problem with a method of payment? Um, no. Uh, no, she didn't. She has a problem with a payroll system. It's igual, igual como lo habían hecho los compañeros, así lo. Okay, okay, the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, but now we know that the payroll system is also a method of payment, right? Okay. Yes. Please. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number Thank two. You. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. He called the mechanic. Ok, thank you very much. Bien, okay. vamos a pasar a la siguiente actividad en la página 34. Let's go to page 34. 34.
Okay, here we are, page 34. <clears throat> y era lo que yo les decía. Short answers are like this. If it is an affirmative answer, it is yes, I did. Okay, and if it is a negative answer, then we say no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And this is the situation. Usually we just say, sí, no. Pero normalmente se queda como en seco, ¿verdad? Por eso a veces es bueno eh, confirmarlo, aunque es la misma repetición, ¿verdad? Es la misma repetición. O cuando enfatizamos, por ejemplo, también de que sí pasó o de que no pasó, entonces se da esa nueva, esa misma frase en confirmación. Entonces, veamos por acá. Tenemos, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Y la respuesta corta es, yes, I did. O si yo no llamé, entonces, no, I didn't, right? Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Veamos las entonaciones, entonation. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did they sign a, the letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. Vamos a ver. Karen, can you please read the first question? Only the first one here. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Okay, to answer this question, if it is yes, I did, that's okay, right? We say just yes, I did. But what about no, I didn't? Inventemos una confirmación acá, okay? En este caso, para crearla, digamos, es una simple oración. Después de no, I didn't, les ponemos como el punto y seguido, ¿verdad? Y diríamos, I didn't. Call the mechanic. ¿Sí? Ah, uh, sorry. There you are. I didn't call the mechanic. No, I didn't. I didn't call the mechanic. A ver, si fuera que sí, yes, I did. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> yo diría, uh, yes, I did. I called the mechanic. ¿Sí? Yes, I did. I called the mechanic. La primera sería para la, para la hice al revés. Sí. <clears throat> Para la negativa y para la positiva, ¿ok? Esto es confirmación. Por eso se llaman preguntas directas, por un sí o por un no. Podemos tener short answers y podemos tener long answers. Las long answers es para una mayor confirmación, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, en la siguiente, ¿Did she pay extra money? Si fuera, yes, she did. ¿Qué le podríamos poner? De confirmación. La oración completa, ¿verdad? She y el verbo en pasado, ¿sí? Paid extra money. All right. Ahora, una, confirma una oración de confirmación en negativa... Suena como, como al ritual, ¿verdad? En la iglesia. Una oración de confirmación, right? <laughs> A confirmation sentence. Will be, she paid extra money. Pero si ella no pagó, ¿cómo hacemos esa oración completa? A ver. A ver ahí. No, she didn't. She didn't. Pay extra money. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Vaya, entonces, en la siguiente, en la siguiente que sería, did we receive a report? 
Vamos a hacerla así. Karen, usted le pregunta a alguien, ¿ok? Y alguien, la que usted escoja, tiene que contestar así, con el corto y agregando una oración, ¿ok? Van a agregar una oración de confirmación. Vamos a ver entonces. Sería, did we? There you go. Did we? Ajá. Uh -huh. Choose someone to answer um, the question. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Who can ask? Who can ask? Mm. Fanny? <laughs> Hi, Fanny. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Did we receive a report? Repeat. Did we receive a report? Yes. Ay, no sé. Vaya, primero damos la short answer, Fanny. Primero yes, vamos. Did. Ajá, exacto. Y después de eso, damos una oración de confirmación, ¿verdad? Repitiendo lo mismo, exactamente lo mismo. Lo único que ahí vamos a usar el verbo en pasado. Entonces, yes, we did. Punto, ¿verdad? Y luego decimos, we received. De a report. A ver, volvamos a hacer la pregunta y vuelve a contestar Fanny, ¿ok? Así sería la, la respuesta. Mire, Fanny. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. We received a report. Excellent. Thank you very much, Fanny. A ver, uh, si fuera negativa, vamos a ver. Eh, Wilber, usted pregúntela y escoja a alguien que le va a responder en forma negativa agregando una oración de confirmación. Uh, a, la, a la última. Uh, no, siempre en la misma porque sería la forma negativa. Ok, eh, le, vamos, le vamos a preguntar a Pedro. Yes. Ok. Pedro, did we receive a report? Okay, thank you very much, Wilber and Fed. All right, bien, entonces vamos a hacer la última. Le vamos a pedir a Carlos Ernesto, usted le pregunta a Hazel. Okay, Hazel contesta. Okay. Uh, did they sign the letter? No, hay en cualquiera, en negativo o positivo. En afirmativo estamos, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, uh -huh. I, I, I did. Eh, sería they, porque le están preguntando. Uh, yes. They. Uh -huh. yes, they did. Sin yes, letter. they did. Aquí sería un punto y empezamos. They. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sin the letter. Bye. Ahí en sign es sign. en tiempo pasado, right. ¿verdad? Signed the letter. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien, Hazel? Sí. Ok. Thank you. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a Hernán que le pregunte a Abel. Abel contesta en negativo. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. uh, is they seen the leader? 
No, they didn't. Okay, I'm Bien, espero que no les esté creando esto confusión. Ok, lo único que vamos a hacer después del positivo es una oración afirmativa. Después del negativo, una oración negativa. Incluso de aquí, de no, they didn't, yo podría sacar una respuesta larga. No, they didn't sign the letter. ¿Verdad? Y no habría ningún problema. Es otra manera. Ok. ¿Estamos correctos hasta aquí? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Ay, sí, sí, sí. Tell me. En, en la última, eh, había entendido que cuando se usa el yes. bit, no sé. Correct. Pasado, You're right. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Thank you, thank you for the observation. Déjenme llegar ahí porque tengo que seleccionar. Correcto. Aquí es en el, la forma base. Didn't sign. Ok. Thank you, Carlos. Is there any other question? No, teacher, I, am, I have a same question. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We have to create yes, no questions based on the answers provided. Okay, let's read the answers. Number one, it says, uh, voy a borrar esto. All right, here we go. Number one. Tenemos que hacer las preguntas de acuerdo a las respuestas que nos han dado ahí. Y si se fijan, va una respuesta corta con respuesta larga, o sea, con una oración de, de confirmación. Right? Entonces, yes, I did. I sent the email. ¿Qué estarán preguntando ahí? What is the question? Did you send the email? Good. Good. Question mark is right here. Yes, I did. I sent the email. Number two. Did they check the package? Number three. Did the car turn on again? Mm -hmm. Number four. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? All right. Number five. Did he uh, bought a new tire? Ok, aquí sería en forma base, uh, did he buy uh -huh. a new tire. Good. Very good. Bien, ahora las vamos a leer y a responder. Ok, vamos a ver, question and answer. And Hernán y Raúl, number one. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Okay, number two, Eric and Rosa. Eric Escobar, are you there? Se nos fue Eric Escobar. Se nos fue. 
Ok, Carlos. Ah, tengo dos Carlos, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Carlos Ernesto, ah, perdón, ah, el que tengo acá como ancladito sería Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Yes, teacher. Ok. The question. Yes. Did, did they check the package? What is the... Ah, oh, ok. The, uh, I only... Solo respondo con lo que dice ahí o... Yes, only with that. Yes, ah, va, ok. Did... Uh, no, they didn't. They didn't check the, pe the package. Package. Package, package. perdón. Package. Perdón. <laughs> All right. Number three. Eric, Jose, and Magdiel. <clears throat> Did the car turn on again? Yes, I did. The car turned on again. Ok, ahí quizás la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Se oyó como que usted había encendido otra vez. Ok, so it is, yes, it, yes, it did, right? Mm -hmm. Pero comprendo, comprendo, es parte de la rapidez. Perfect, my dear. Ok. Very good. Vamos a ver number four. Let's look at number four. Oscar and Andrea. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Oscar. I have a question. Yes, please. You question. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Ok, very good. Acordémonos que esta palabra la P no suena. De un solo se va a la T. Receipt. Ok, receipt. receipt. Y, ajá, y la felicito, Andrea, tiene buena pronunciación en este. Esta es otra forma de pronunciarlo. Didn't. Did, como una R, ¿verdad? Didn't. También. Very good, Andrea. Vamos a ver la número 5. Sería Luis y... Luis y... No se escondan. Luis y Pedro, vamos a ver. Ok. Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Ok, good, good. Very good. Yes, he, right? He. Ok, guys, we have um, an activity on the platform and you have to answer those questions. The idea was that you, la idea de esa actividad Uh, era que la discutiéramos un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero podemos verla y ustedes la van a hacer, ¿sí? La van a hacer sin discutir con su compañero y mañana la platicamos acá. Les voy a mostrar la actividad, a ver qué se me hizo. Permítanme. Por acá. Aquí está. Oh, all right. Perdón, perdón, algo me pasó. Ah, sí, quiero tengo una misma otra vez. Hoy sí creo que va a salir. Ahí está. Ok, sería esta, miren. Déjenme llegar. Ups, no me deja, perdón. Y aquí la tenemos. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahí? Solo answer the questions. Right? Did you ever forget about given instructions? And number two, did you ever forget to give someone's messages you received? Cuando usted recibe una llamada, a ver, se le va por alto darle el mensaje a alguien y a las siete de la noche... Oh, right? Does it happen? Did Every you day. Ever? <laughs> okay. Entonces ustedes me ponen por ahí una, eh, 
respuesta. Acordémonos, damos una respuesta corta para iniciar y luego una de confirmación o ampliación, ¿verdad? O ampliación, porque aquí es directa porque es un sí o un no la respuesta. Pero si queremos agregar algo más, tenemos la, eh, ¿cómo se llama? La opción de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Así que ahí lo van a encontrar, está cabal debajo de la eh, videoconferencia que sería para el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Video conference number 13. And remember that you may go by the discussion label. Ustedes también pueden acceder por la eh, viñeta de discusiones, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí les queda esa actividad. Ahorita ya solo faltan dos minutos para las diez. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Y la sesión del día de hoy. Perdón. La sesión del día de hoy le toca. Ahorita. Ah, la número trece le toca a Karen. ¿Verdad? Vamos a ver. Le tocaría a Karen. Uh, no se quiere quedar, ¿verdad, Karen? Ya le vi ahí así como... Uh, ok. Y de ahí tenemos a Magdiel en la lista. Él se quedó ya una vez para darle oportunidad a, a otro. Sería Oscar, que lo tengo en la, en la fila aquí. Eh, si quisiera quedarse, Oscar. No se me esconda, Oscar. No me preocupe, vamos a tomar chocolate. Ya freí los plátanos. <risa> ok, vamos a ver. Uh, ¿Dónde está Oscar, verdad? Se desconectó. No, por ahí estaba. Ok, pero tengo que dejar, a ver, que, ¿quién se va a quedar? ¿Quién se va a quedar? A ver, sería... Es que yo a todos los veo con ganas de quedarse. Sí, vamos a ver. Solo sonrisitas ustedes, ya lo vi. A ver, Pedro Alexander sería el número 16 en la lista. Si quiere quedarse, Pedro. Correcto, yo no puedo ese día. Ok, no problem. Uh, bueno, entonces desisto ya de, de, de doblarles el brazo. Pero créanme, esta es una oportunidad para que ustedes puedan practicar alguna cosa que ustedes tengan en duda o en jabón por ahí, ¿verdad? Y es una forma también, un espacio en donde ustedes pueden dar su opinión, ¿verdad? También acerca de la clase o de temas que hemos visto. Pero bien, voy a tomar entonces la asistencia. No se preocupen que no voy a seguir diciendo más. Pero todavía, si alguien se arrepiente y se quiere quedar... ¿Sí? Con gusto. Andrea Sofía sí. Benítez Gómez. José si Yo okay. puedo. Ok, Magdiel. Good. Vamos okay. a ver. Eso, me gusta. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present, teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Ok. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Ok. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Ah, sí, he is uh, at work and he is as a listener. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Oscar Leonel García Magaña. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Luis Ernesto Majano Valle. Present teacher. Ok. There we go, guys. So, I think we finished. Have a very good night. 
and do your homework, please, and participate in the discussion. Okay, so bye, bye. Have a very good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care, guys. The night, teacher. Okay, good night, Raul. Okay, Hi, Miguel, sure. here we are. <laughs> Tell me, how can I assist you here? Pues, quizás solo practicar, teacher, porque... All right, all right. You tell me, what do you want to practice? <clears throat> um, the short arm short and... Más larga, como se dice. Okay, uh, no, long, long answer. The long answer. and short answers. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. We are going to do that. Mm -hmm. So um, let me see if I have something extra here to do it. One second. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a usar estas preguntas que tengo acá, ok, le voy a mostrar algunas, sí, uh -huh. eh, ok, se las voy a mostrar, aunque las vamos a usar mañana esas mismas, solo que para la siguiente parte que sería de further questions, ¿verdad? preguntas que siguen después de una pregunta, pero vamos a usar las mismas preguntas para poder eh, Hacer las preguntas cortas y respuestas cortas y largas. Ok. Here we are. Sí. Here it is. Bien. Vamos a ver. Did you get on time to work? Did you get on time to work? La respuesta corta. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ajá. Y entonces, ¿una oración de confirmación en respuesta larga? Mm. ¿Usted puede ingresar a la pantalla? Eh, sí, pues sí. Bye. Entonces, para que escriba usted su respuesta corta, vaya. Right? Es que muy grande está. Ajá, pero vamos a ver aquí. Vamos a poner acá. Ok, ahí. Ah, pero no lo puedo mover yo. A ver. No, no lo puedo mover yo. No sé, no sé, nomás te echar que una tablet tengo. Y, ah, ok, sí, comprendo. Ya en la tablet es muy diferente. Es cierto. Bien. Vamos a ver entonces. Did you get on time to work? Did you? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I did. Yes, um, I did. Ajá. Entonces, la oración de confirmación. I. I get. Past tense. I got, I got, I got on, on time. time. Excellent. Vamos a ver la siguiente. La siguiente sería, did she have lunch with some important clients? Did she have lunch? Mm, sure, I'm sure. Yes. 
she did. Okay. And she had she had lunch with some import important client. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Okay. Vamos a ver la siguiente. A ver, usted solito la siguiente. Did they open the door? Yes, they did. They opened the door. Right. Did you uh -huh. check your email? Mm -hmm. Ah, en esta, en esta lista de preguntas, perdón, hay dos errores que es parte de la actividad que ustedes iban a encontrar. Ahí lo va a encontrar usted por ahí, por ahí, en alguna de esas. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, did you check your email? Y me dijo yes. Una negativa, vamos a poner. Ah, no. Bye. No. En este caso la respuesta sería yo, ¿verdad? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. I. I check it. Ajá. My email. Ok, I... pero como me dijo que no, tengo que decir I didn't check. Ah, ok. Ok. I didn't check my email. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, then, did you call clients? Mm, no, I didn't. I didn't call clients. In the next is is a mistake. Is it? Yes. All right. Next, did you, did he wrote? Okay. Uh huh. This bear is for is is normal. And base form, right? Base form. Mm -hmm. Right. Did he, did he write? Did he write the report? Uh huh. Report. And I'm sure, yes, yes, he did. Okay. He yes. wrote, yes. he wrote the report. Good. Next. Mm, en esta creo que también. Está en pasado. Organize. Uh -huh, correcto. Entonces sería. Did my boss organize. The meeting. Is the question. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The answer. Um, yes. Yes, he didn't. He did. My boss organized the meeting. Okay, what about the last one? Did you attend the meeting? It's correct. And no, no, I didn't. I attend, attended, I attended 
the meeting. Um, pero si oh, no, uh -huh. okay, I didn't attend. I didn't, Cor. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que me iba a, fíjese que creí que iba a ser, bueno, usted es bastante creativo más bien, pero este, <laughs> pensé que me iba a decir, I attended uh, another meeting, right? Or a different <laughs> meeting, right? Uh, yeah. uh -huh. I didn't attend. Okay. Podría hacer una respuesta así también, no exactamente la, la, la negativa, sino que. Exactamente. No. Lo contrario o algo así. Yes. Uh, o puede ser la aclaración. Por eso les decía yo, puede ser de confirmación o puede ser de aclaración. Porque usted puede ser que diga, no, I didn't. I was in Italy, right? So I couldn't. So, uh -huh. I, no, I didn't. I was in San Salvador and the meeting was in Santa Ana. So, yeah, of course. Of course, you can say a different, a, a, a different um, aclaración, yeah. Uh, you can make this clear or also you can give another piece of information, a new piece of information, so it is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Sí, de hecho. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Okay, well then it's my pleasure. And we can meet tomorrow, okay? okay. Remember to do your homework and also participate in the discussion. It's very important so you can um, expand your vocabulary. En esas preguntas que están en la plataforma, usted puede hacer una de aclaración, puede hacer una de confirmación, como usted quiera. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. O una nueva información, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay then. You. Have a very good night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you. See you tomorrow.